All right, our next question is, what is hashtag de-stress December? What are some good ways to de-stress around this time of year? This is a really good question. I love de-stress December because it's the end of the year. You have had almost 365 days of stress and exams and essays and more stress piled on top of you. So now is the time to like let loose and let go, especially with finals just around the corner in like a week or two. You want to take time for yourself because you've probably been putting that off since before Thanksgiving. So that means like the second you put your pen down or finish a quiz or whatever, you go out with your friends, you do something fun, you do something you want to do. That could be like going and getting <clears throat> ice cream, even though it's the middle of the winter. I don't know, people in California probably still eat ice cream in the winter. Um, I still eat ice cream in the winter. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't yeah. want to walk through the cold in Burlington down the hill to where all the snow was and all the ice and all the wind and get some Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> You know, sometimes it mm. felt like that. There was this, yeah. this hill that we called Mount Main, where it was literally like this steep, and basically just going down it in the middle of a snowstorm, you're going down on your butt mm. <laughs> pretty much every time. Um, but yeah, so like, make, go get ice cream or something. Go to your favorite restaurant in town. Go try a new restaurant in town. Do something that's going to make you feel good. Um, if you have it available to you, take a nice bubble bath. Um, take a nap. Read a book you want to read instead of a book that's assigned to you. Um, just do something that's going to make you feel good because you, like I said, you need some me time. You need to take care of, take care of you. Hashtag treat yourself. <laughs> Definitely. That's, I think, uh, you, you hit the nail on the head with all the relaxing things, mm -hmm. which I'll jump to later. Mm -hmm. But in terms of when you're going crazy with finals and anything like that, in, in that, in that vein with school and work, and create a schedule. Uh, that's gonna help you so much by having a calendar and seeing what you have to do and when it's coming. I feel like if I just have everything floating around in my mind and it's not listed in a specific order and here's the milestones and here's where I need to go, I feel way more overwhelmed. Whereas mm -hmm. if I hit the day and I'm like, okay, I, I check off the things that I needed to do today, I'm in the green, I can go out, I can you know, have a good time, I can relax a little bit. Um, and also definitely take breaks during that time. Uh, you'll go insane just sitting in front of a computer or working on something over and over and over again. And it's the same thing in the real world while you're working. Mm -hmm. uh, for anything creative, uh, what I do here, sit down, you look at it for long enough, it looks like garbage. Walk away, you come back, mm -hmm. it's not bad, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's come back to it. Let's attack it at a different angle. Yeah. So I think those two things, when you're in that vein and it's, doing yeah. all the work and doing everything, the, the planner and going and having breaks is a, is a nice yeah. touch. Yeah, I, I might not so much be the planner type, but I am the checklist type. Mm -hmm. So what's really nice about the end of a school year is once you have gone to you know the second to last or third to last class, you probably have a good idea of what all your assignments are for the rest of the semester. Mm -hmm. So you can put them all down on one giant checklist. And that will be a little overwhelming the first time you look at it, but every time you check off something, you get closer to finishing everything. And it's just the best feeling in the world for me. That's something I did the last of my semesters at the end of every semester at least in my senior year it's really helpful another thing I would suggest like what first comes to mind with de-stressing is yoga so like getting in there again your namaste on um, relaxing maybe some nice sense but really any exercise can help take your mind and your brain away from all of that and really just focus on you and take some you time so I find that after a good workout or after yoga something like that where you can really just de-stress and get everything off your mind then going back to a project you really do come in with a whole new outlook and like Tyler was describing you're like ready to go back into it and with a, a new outlook yeah i'm uh, not flexible at all so <laughs> yoga is not a uh, top of my priority list however turning off the lights and screaming into a pillow really loud. <laughs> there's a it's college a big that does that i don't really? remember what college it is but they or maybe it's a few colleges but they open up the window at the same time at like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock and they all scream yeah yeah, I forget what that is. Uh, we do have an article on yeah. College Express about that, so search for it because <laughs> yeah. it's definitely on. Wait, we can put it in the in the. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the description. Yeah. In the description. Yeah. But what if you didn't know it was about to happen? And then all oh of my sudden, god, you're going to have to yeah. yeah. for freshmen. Just, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> um, another thing to do with kind of going with studying and everything is you know create a study group. I had um, my 
first final freshman year, my friends and I got, all got together because it was a spelling test of the most commonly misspelled words in the English language, like the top 100, um, because being a, a writing major, that's what we did. Um, and we just got together and we took turns reading off different words um, from the list and it made it less stressful. It made it fun. I had a bit of a breakdown. I got to the word dumbbell and couldn't stop laughing for literally 20 minutes. <laughs> no idea why, but I was like, this is such a funny word. And they like, it was my nickname for in the next couple of weeks or something like that, <laughs> which was fine with me. It wasn't like in a teasing way, it was in a friendly way, but like it relieved so much pressure after that and we managed to get through the list and I think we all passed the final. Oh, that was five, five six years ago, so. Yeah, no, thanks for that. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, the, you guys kind of said like, go do your own thing and like mm -hmm. have fun. We always joke that my brother-in-law is very much uh, and you've met Elliot a few times now. Mm -hmm. Very straightforward, and you have too. Mm -hmm. Very straightforward, lawyer. He's always very buttoned up and doesn't get out of his comfort zone. And we know when he's stressed because he's in the zone, nothing's going on. The most satisfying thing in my life is seeing him have fun. <laughs> because when you just see him get really loud <laughs> and animated and getting into something, you're like, nice. You're getting out of your comfort zone. So get out of your comfort zone and try to forget about all the stress that is on top of you. Not to say forget about it completely. It's still there, but go off, have a good time, come back, and it's been mentioned multiple times, you have that fresh feeling of, mm -hmm. okay, now I can tackle this problem, now I can get through it. And uh, I think that's, that's huge. And you mentioned exercise. I think exercise is a big thing. Uh, if you just go out for a run or, like I said, screaming, you're punching a bag, wh whatever it is to just get out that negative energy that you have in yoga, the breathing exercises are there for getting negative energy out. So whatever is your avenue to do that, do that and do it frequently yeah. because it's going to help significantly. Yeah, and saying that you know, different people handle stress in different ways. Uh, everybody is generally very stressed in December about something. If it's mm -hmm. finishing your finals, if it's your professors having to grade your finals, mm -hmm. if it's you know the snow that is a problem if you live in the north, if it's the days getting shorter, everybody has a lot of things going on. Um, and so just because somebody may appear less stressed than you doesn't mean that they are. Everybody has their own unique stress, and it's about finding a way to resolve that. Thank you.